Hotchkiss Mountain Gun was first purchased by the United States Army in 1877. They liked it so much, they ordered more from Hotchkiss of Paris over a period of years. The Hotchkiss was the replacement for the 12-pound mountain howitzer. The beauty of the Hotchkiss is it's very portable, can be packed by two mules with one mule carrying the ammo. The Hotchkiss mountain gun was the first breech-loading modern cannon in U.S. inventory. The Hotchkiss is a rifled bore capable of firing in excess of 3,500 yards. The rifling gives a spin to the projectile and increases dramatically its accuracy. The Hotchkiss was the first gun also to shoot a self-contained round. In other words, the cartridge would contain the powder as well as the projectile. Because these are very light guns, they only weigh about 250 pounds and they're shooting a two pound projectile. That's a tremendous amount of force. and these guns are gonna roll back rather smartly. And so the lanyards are intentionally long so that the shooter is out of the way of this recoil. The Hotchkiss was designed for a four-man team, sometimes six. You'd have a, a loader, uh, somebody to aim it. You'd have a gun commander to see spot where it's hitting. You'd have a guy to handle ammo and a guy to take care of the mules. Like the guns of the Civil War, this was a direct fire weapon. In other words, the sights had to be lined up, not unlike the sights on a, a rifle. The Hotchkiss gun is very intimidating. It makes a big sound. It moves a lot. There's a lot of smoke. There's a lot of flame. 